Hello, this is Anke Corbin with Globig. We are here in Munich. I have a guest, Lena Tim from Media Labs Bavaria. Um, Lena, thank you so much for joining us. And tell me a little bit about Media Labs Bavaria and what you do here. Yeah, thank you so much that I can be here. Um, the Media Lab Bavaria is uh, supporting startups in a very, very early stage in the media industry. So we try to find talents who are entrepreneurs who want to start something, um, who have a first very rough idea and bring them to a first prototype. Mm, excellent. How long has this program been going and what are some of the qualifications? Are they just based in Germany or can uh, international companies apply as well? Mm -hmm. um, we are there for almost one and a half years now, so very, very young and we still try to figure out what works and what doesn't work. And at the moment we are focusing on, on, yeah, on Bavaria and Germany, but we are very open for people from all over the world and we would love to have more of them here because um, what we see is that international teams are pretty great in working together and really start something new and innovative. Hmm. What, you know, how is business done in Bavaria? Tell us a little bit about what makes Bavaria a really great business environment and what makes it unique from your perspective. Yeah, um, regarding the media industry, Bavaria is a really strong, uh, strong place to be because we have a lot of publishers here, we have a lot of broadcasting companies that are really huge and that have a lot of opportunity to um, work together or for startups, there's a lot of opportunity to work together with those companies and to really start with a great partner behind and um, to, yeah, to promote your product to this um, big players in the market. Mm, excellent. So, so tell me a little bit about what makes uh, Bavaria a great market for startups and, and how is business you know, really being done here? Um, regarding the media industry in Bavaria, startups have a, have a huge um, opportunity here because we have big companies like ProSieben or Boda, like big publishers, big broadcasting companies um, who are eager to work together with startups. Um, Boda has an own program for startups, um, ProSieben has an accelerator and a venture program. So when you're in the media industry and you want to start a startup, um, you have, it's, it's great in Munich and it's great in Bavaria because you have these big partners who want to work with you. How does a startup or a new company, let's say they just moved into this market, how do they work with media? Are, is, are there specific protocols? Is, there, is it unique from other markets? I think it's not so unique. Um, and I think startups, um, really, I think they think too much about how to approach media and how to approach journalists. Because from a journalistic perspective, um, we always, I, I worked as a journalist and, and we are always eager to find new things, to find new information and, and to know about things. And so um, if you have, sometimes it works to have to just write an email, um, maybe not that often because everyone is annoyed by getting too much emails. Um, but if you connect via um, Twitter or other social networks first with the people who really belong to you, um, and belong to your industry, um, then you have a great chance that they um, want to hear more about you. And I think the key thing is to really find out first, and for that social media is great, um, who is the one that really is um, into the topics you are in as well, so into your industry. So it, it's not, um, it won't be much success if you um, talk to someone who's uh, writing about fintech when you're a media startup. And right. so just find out the people first and then write to them directly and yeah. they will appreciate it. Are they pretty formal and when you write to them or can you write in a fairly casual and you know here's who we are and here's what we're doing or are there uh, it's not an official like press release sort of format that you have to follow? I think nobody really likes press l releases because <laughs> there's so many of them you get into your inbox. Um, I think it depends on the medium. We have um, some large publishers like Spiegel or um, Frankfurter Allgemeine who have a really 
effective protocol or so or where people work um, who want to have it that way but when you're in the startup industry the the um, yeah the magazines who report about startups are of more interest to you and they are pretty informal so just just write them and don't think too much about it so very similar to the programs that we have in yeah. the US as well yeah what makes Bavaria and Munich a great place to do business um, from a you know there's a lot of support to are there pockets of places that you as a young company should consider being in you know what makes this area really great Bavaria and especially Munich has a lot of funding and a lot of support for early stage startups and a lot of programs so we have for entrepreneurship centers from the university. We have a lot of co-working spaces and we have a lot of accelerated programs here. So um, it's a great and thriving community and also in the meetup community. So you, you meet new people here. It's very international in startup scene and, um, and you get so much support in either industry you are in, there's already a program here in Munich and in Bavaria. And that I think makes it a really good opportunity to come over here um, in opposition to other, um, to other cities who are maybe just have one cluster or who don't have that much support from the government and from other, other players in the market as well. So just a lot of everything. Yeah. So when you when you come here, are there certain influencers that you have to meet? Um, people that really are movers and shakers in the Munich uh, tech scene and startup scene. Mm -hmm. I think you should connect with the co-working places like Werk 1 is one um, who really does a great job um, and then just dive into the meetup scene because there are so many people who are who love their their communities and who love tech and um, there's one one company here who holds a meetup every evening to deep tech things and you can just go there, meet new people, and I think that's the best thing to, to come into a new city like this, to, to talk to others. So when someone comes to the Bavarian area, are there people or organizations that you should connect with to make just getting familiar with this area much, much easier? Um, I think the co-working places and the meetup scene is a good starting point for you because there are people who know the industry, who know um, the city, who know other players who you, you should connect with. And um, I think that's the, the best starting point to really um, go uh, come into this community. Yeah. What about culturally? Tell me a little bit about Bavarians and how are they different from either other German areas or even just other countries? Like what makes this culture so interesting? That's a good question. Um, I actually come from the north of Germany and um, Bavaria was new for me too. Um, but Bavaria is very welcoming. It might seem to be rough at the beginning, but um, we have some, some great traditions. The Oktoberfest is great. You sh just have to go there once in your life. Yeah. And um, yeah, but Munich is a very open city and you really don't see so much from Bavaria in here because we have so many people from all over Germany here, from all over the world. And so it's a pretty international city and you can dive into the Bavarian culture and into the Bavarian food, which is great, um, but you don't have to. And it's not so, um, it's not intru intrusive or so, yeah. yeah. What about if you're in not a German speaker, is it intimidating or do you find for the most part you can truly just do business and, and really make it work uh, in English? I think of course you can do business because um, the startup scene is so international and um, we all, we Germans, maybe it's, it's um, other than in other countries, but we Germans um, learn English from the fifth grade on and like eight, nine years in school. So everyone of us is um, able to understand English. Maybe not speak English that well, but under, we understand all or everything. Um, and you, well, in the startup scene is special because um, it's so common and we have a lot of um, events that are held only in English. So I think that um, you don't, um, 
I think you must not be afraid of coming to Germany um, and not speaking the language because um, it's perfectly fine for all of us um, to, to hear you speaking English and um, if you maybe can say in Bavaria Servus then it's all fine. <laughs> <laughs> that is a really great tip. So Servus, vielen Dank. Uh, this is Anke with Globig. Come to Munich and uh, go global and go big. <laughs>